Hello again everyone, Conius here. Today I'm taking a tour around the Orlando area. I just landed at the Orlando International Airport. I'm going to head over towards Universal Studios and Disney World. I'm expecting to there, there to be nothing actually there. Um, they're not marked as being hand-built, but we'll see what's actually there. So let's go ahead and go inside. Today we're flying a Cirrus SR-22. I'm not going to bother with any autopilot. And let's go ahead and get started. This is a fun little light plane to fly around. If there were any flaps down, I don't think so. Maybe there were. Anyway, if there were, I put them up. Landing gear, I don't believe we have landing gear either. <laughs> Alright, and I'm going to see if I can close the gap on the heading here. Tower KH388 continue for west departure. So I'm just trying to head towards that broken line and get it to line up. I think I'm going the right way to do that. I might be going the wrong way. I've kind of been confused by that. Maybe it means that I'm too far that direction. I should be going the other way. Let's try that. We have a green line on the compass dial instead of the usual magenta one. I'm not sure what that means, although I am heading towards non-airport destinations, so that's where it's navigating us to. Okay, the line doesn't seem to be getting any, any more closed in this direction. Anyway, I'm not sure. I'll just head towards the uh, direction. Heading direction. United 730 exit runway when able. Okay, I'm going to go outside. might be one of our, that might be the Universal Studios point of interest uh, checkpoint right there. Let's see. Yeah, we want to slow down. Orlando Tower KH388 frequency change. This is a little Orlando hard to do while also KH388 descending, but I'll drop the throttle. Okay, that that one is just says it's Orlando. Okay, so it, that's I believe the one I want is south of there. There it is, right there, Universal Studios. Bravo Airspace KH388. Alright, so what I'm trying to do is get slow enough to put the flaps down and then we'll be able to glide over and get a good look at a slow speed. Need to drop throttle some more here. Get down to the white band on the airspeed ticker tape. stuttering a little bit. All 
I think if I nose up, I can get us down there speed-wise. Go ahead and put the flaps down. And give us a bunch more throttle, so we stay airborne. Not necessarily any quieter in this little airplane. And I do want to watch my speed. We don't want to get out of that white band with the flaps. I really have a feeling that there's not going to be any Universal Studios there, but we'll see. You would think that companies like Disney and Comcast might decide to create the geometry for those just as a, you know, advertising thing, a PR thing. That would actually be very cool. close to dropping out of the air here. So I think that green line on the compass dial was just uh, navigating for the heading. It had nothing to do with the flight plan I had set. I shouldn't have been paying any attention to it. Go a little slower without stalling. With the flaps down, I'm okay as long as we stay in that white line. Okay, a little bit more stuttering in the game. That's right. I'm sure it's having to load a lot of stuff. What are we going to see when we get there? And are we going to be able to see it with the sun in our eyes? Okay, so does this look like a theme park and a back lot? It looks like sound stages and water. I don't see anything that looks like an amusement park ride. Let's go over to Disney World. Flaps up to get some additional speed going here. Yeah, I have a feeling Disneyland is going to be, or Disney World is going to be the same thing, just a plot of land. Maybe if the game's popular enough, it will become worth their while to add the geometry for all that stuff. Yeah, it's 
not necessarily quieter inside different sound, but not quieter sound. So I'm nosing down a bit, We're getting a lot of speed, that's okay. I figure there's probably nothing to see, so we don't need to slow down for it. Pull back on the throttle, though. seeing much so far. Looking like just a plot of land here, too. Obviously a big hotel complex, but I'm not seeing any obvious Disney World or any of that kind of stuff. So they'll need to they'll need to add that. People are going to be expecting it. All right. Well, we can head back to the airport now and land. get up to proper altitude for entering the landing pattern. Usually around 2,000 feet. Now, because of my complicated flight plan, I don't know if the pilot, the co-pilot's going to contact the tower back in Orlando or not. That's where I took off from. So we'll have to see. If he does, it'll be in the next mile or so. Alright, we are at the altitude I wanted. So we don't need to be nose up anymore. Go ahead and bring up the tower panel just to see what's going on. 
Miss Firefly? Tower okay, there we go. Full we'll pilot is handling it. Nice. The game is able to figure out my intentions. That's good. Make left base runway tree six right KH three eight eight. Okay, well for once the landing pattern isn't behind us when it appears. I'll go ahead and switch to cockpit view for this realism. Part of my learning. Funny how the sun reflection is being modulated by the propeller somehow. I do need to start slowing down quite substantially, so let's do that. And pull it all the way down on the throttle for a moment here. What I want to do is get into the white zone and then put the flaps down, bring the throttle back up. Drop an altitude a bit. I can get our speed down now by picking up some altitude. I do need to give it a bit of, thru of thrust, though. All right, and so now we're getting into flap range. I'm going to go ahead and put the flaps down. And go back up to midpoint on the throttle stick. That's a little bit high. Maybe we can pull back on that a bit. One reason maybe why the landing pattern wasn't behind us is this is a much slower airplane than the 350i I've been flying lately. So I'm starting to make my turn. Uh, you know, altitude-wise, actually maybe I'm okay. I'm, I feel like I'm a little low. Usually the landing patterns are around 2,000 feet, but it feels like we're not in bad shape there. We did need to thrust up to keep us airborne. That was due to climbing and losing airspeed on the climb. Okay, I'm going to thrust up some more. We're continuing to um, build up our altitude here as we get into the landing pattern. I'm going to hug the right side. to give it some more thrust, given that we're climbing too slow. Yeah, I know I'm going too slow. I can maybe level off a little bit here. Runway 
Glad that we're cleared for landing. I'm gonna Clear head to over land, to runway right three, six right KH388. Throttle because we're starting to drop a little faster now. Uh, we head back over towards the right side. Helps me to stay centered. Makes the turns less severe. dropping a little faster now though, so I'm going to have to get that speed down and get everything sort of nice and level and centered. Alright, so we've got the speed down pretty low. Might need to thrust up just to get onto the landing strip. Go around. Alright. Going around KH388. I was told to go around once more and I had a different, very difficult time figuring out how to actually land and ended up landing without clearance. Uh, I would like to avoid that this time. Okay, I'm going to put the flaps up. I want to get some altitude. Get some speed. Figure out how we're going to approach this landing. So I'm going to want to be up at like 1,100 feet, something like that. That's where the landing pattern entrance was before. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put the flaps down again, and up throttle. So we don't lose too much speed, but it looks like I can turn now towards the landing pattern that I assume is there waiting for me. Orlando Tower, southwest 1871, 3 miles southwest inbound, at runway 36 left approach. Okay, I am nosing up too much and losing speed way too fast. Southwest 1871, Orlando Tower. I've got to stop Clear that. Altitude's okay, so I don't need to be, do not need to be nosing up. Ah, there it is right there, okay, perfect. Now do we need to request clearance? It said go around, but it didn't say that we had clearance to try again. Quest. Cleared 
It's a pattern, so it you know, must know about us. Okay, I'm gonna down throttle. We're on flaps. We need to slow down a little bit. Uh, we're right at the mouth of the pattern, though, so that's good. Yeah, when this happened the last time, the, um, there's an alternate visual display for the landing pattern where there's lines that go all the way to the ground and it's very confusing, it's hard to make out where it is. And so it switched to that and I just couldn't figure out where I was supposed to go, but this time it's giving us the normal landing pattern. Okay, I'm going to thrust up. I don't, I'm not happy with how slow we're going. It's a little bit low for me. A little bit of thrust and head over towards the right side of the pattern. One two one decimal eight Kronos one nine or one one. Okay, so we're cleared to land now. That's good. Clear to land runway tree six right KH tree eight eight. Hopefully we won't get a go around order again. But I'm happy this time that I successfully abided by it, followed all the rules. I'm trying to learn this stuff. Alright, I think our speed is good. I'm going to head over towards the right side again. That just helps me stay centered. Okay, I'm going to pull back on the throttle because we're now starting to drop a little faster. Don't want to gain too much speed. Pull back a little bit more even. Start making our turn. Okay, I'm going to drop throttle some more because we're very close to the runway. And so just try to keep the speed hovering above the stall point. Also get the plane centered and stable. Okay, I'm continuing to adjust the throttle down as it looks like we don't need it. I'll bring it back up if we do. Looks like we do. Judging by the angle that we would take to reach the tarmac. I think I can drop the throttle all the way down now, and we'll just hover. Hover until we get our rear wheels down. And the front wheel down. And I tried something different this time, which was to apply the brake as soon as the rear wheels were down to try to slow it down meant that the front, uh, the nose, nose down pretty quickly, but it seemed to be okay in this small airplane. I don't know if that would be a good thing to do in a larger airplane. And where am I supposed to turn off? Taxiway. 
All right, I will, if I can figure out where that is. I see what looks like maybe some blue arrows up here. Okay, put the flaps up. I always forget to put the flaps up when I'm on the ground. That's really important because you can get going a little too fast on the taxiway and your nose begins lifting up and you lose steering. Well, front wheel steering, I guess, you lose. But I'm not actually sure we're using any front wheel steering. KH3, AD contact ground on 126.4. Okay, so let's contact ground. 126.4 for KH388. Taxi to parking. Orlando ground, KH388 taxi to parking. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking via Taxiway Echo Cross Runway 36 Left Echo Alpha. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking via Taxiway Echo Cross Runway 36 Left Echo Alpha KH388. this runway over here. I see something moving. I think that's a truck. I don't see an airplane coming in. Um, I'm sure I can inch up to this marking line up here. Orlando ground, JetBlue 2417 requesting pushback. Okay, again, I don't see anything. We were told to wait. I don't think I missed a go ahead and go thing. Hold position. Generic on upwind, okay. Uh, where is this generic? the Xbox controller, it might have hit a <laughs> trigger or something. Well, I... this is a little silly. I need to... I need to move, so I'm gonna go ahead and go. KH388, continue taxi. Okay, finally. Roger, KH388. It sounds like the generic never, uh... Or maybe, maybe they're suspended in mid-flight or parked on the ground or something, I don't know. I want to get to parking. Orlando ground, JetBlue 2417 requesting the end of pushback. JetBlue 2417 request to end pushback received. Okay, looks like we've got a parking spot set up for us right over here. Taxi to an old short runway tree, six right using taxiway Alpha Juliet, cross runway one eight right Juliet Zulu Yankee Bravo six Bravo Bravo one zero Jet Blue two four one seven. Jet Blue two four one seven hold position caution, other traffic. Yeah, the pilot you Oh shit. Oh. Uh, uh okay, I didn't. KH3, continue taxi. Okay, alright. <laughs> did not Roger KH388. Acknowledge or did not uh, register. Call position jet blue 2417. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and park this way. It wants me to go in the other way, but this is gonna be fine. It's green. Let's turn off the engines. Set the parking brake. I said engines plural, because I'm used to flying the 350i. And then, uh, let's see. Turning off the plane had to do with these buttons right there. That's it. Thank you so much for watching my tour of the Orlando area. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.